Thank you. Please remain standing. It is my honor to introduce R Reedy Sunshine Bala and Vizal Bala of Nassau County to sing our national anthem. A Greek philosopher once said, the mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be kindled. With a fire in his mind, President Bill Clinton rekindled America and brought about the longest economic expansion in American history with the lowest unemployment in three decades and the highest home ownership in the country ever. But ladies and gentlemen, you ain't seen nothing yet. For New York State and America, the best is yet to come when we elect a Democratic governor in New York in 2006 and a Democratic president of the United States in 2008. The Democratic Party has promises to keep, challenges to meet, and hopes to redeem. And so, my fellow Americans, the Democratic Party has two of the finest public officials who embody the best this country has to offer, Attorney General Elliot Spitzer and Senator Hillary Rodham Clinton. And now, the national anthem. <laughs> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting Spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the lights from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam god bless america my home sweet home god bless america my home sweet home. Please continue to stand and join me in a moment of silence 
to remember the lives of four pioneers of our parties. Former State Chair Dominic Baranello, former County Chair Barbara Pauletti, and Barbara Steinwatch, and former State Committee member and a former colleague of mine in the New York State Assembly, Elizabeth Betty Conley, who we recently lost last week. Your commitment and dedication to our party will never be forgotten.